Hello guys, Crispy here and welcome back to another video in this one my friends I'm gonna be testing the GT 1030 in Crysis Remastered This one is the 2GB GDDR5 model of the card and it's also the MSI Aero version I'm running the latest drivers from NVIDIA of course 456.71 And I am also running it with a Ryzen 7 3700X and 16 gigs of RAM And you don't need the 3700X if you want to get the same FPS You only need something like a Ryzen 3 1200 Let's go over the same settings here of Crysis Remastered. I'm gonna be playing here at 1920 by 1080, 1600 by 900 as well as 1280 by 720 and possibly lower than that 800 by 600 if the game doesn't run well at 720p but I think it will so uh, that's not gonna be needed. I'm just gonna disable the anti-aliasing settings over here and we're playing at the lowest settings possible. So let's get right into it. And here we are friends, uh, wow, okay, so it's not looking good in terms of the stuttering, look at that, holy crap, that happens every single time in this game, the first time around that you uh, load the game and the, the, the level and stuff like that, it tends to stutter because it's it's broken. By the way, the VRAM and RAM utilization are quite high right now because the game, again, is broken, so the textures are set to the maximum, even though it's set to the lowest in the options menu, but uh, <laughs> yeah, you just can't really expect Crysis to not be broken, I think, at this point. Let's see if ray tracing is enabled. I don't think it is. Yeah, ray tracing is definitely disabled right now uh, so we can start counting our FPS yes this is the low settings we're getting 30 FPS right here sometimes sometimes it goes down to like 20 for no reason uh, wait a second the FPS are locked what the heck is going on with this game okay and now they're unlocked so this game as you can see is completely broken I had v-sync turned on or some sort of v-sync at least uh, but yeah we're playing on low settings with the highest texture quality because yes <laughs> and uh, the vsync is now disabled so we can finally start counting our fps 100 percent gpu usage finally okay there we go let's go ahead and start it and we're getting 30s which is not too bad i expected a little bit better coming from the 1030 because the gtx 750 ti did a lot better here i think it was in the 40s and upper 40s as well on average but, well, as you probably know, the 1030 is quite a bit uh, worse than the GTX 750 Ti, like 20% worse or so. So, that's it's normal that we're getting like 30 FPS. As long as it doesn't drop from 30, I think it's a playable experience. But never mind, it does drop from 30 here in Crysis Remastered. I don't recommend this resolution with the 1030 basically in any game right now, except for like Valorant or something like that. Uh, yeah, it's, it's not a good experience here at 1080p unfortunately and that was definitely a headshot what the hell guys this game is broke <laughs> okay there we go all right everyone just dies uh that guy had a little bit of delay there i think i shot him okay that was a headshot and i think this is it i'm just gonna explode that jeep over there see if there's any like big fps drop coming from that one percent lows are at eight right now guys which is completely like a terror it's really bad, but that was because of the stutters at the beginning because it doesn't really drop into like the single digits So um, yeah, it doesn't really drop from 20 as well with the explosion there, which is great And uh, yeah, if you want to play crisis at 1080p, I guess you can uh, But it's it's quite rough. All right So now we're playing at 1600 by 900 using the same low settings over here. What, wait a second. What was that? that setting custom why why is this on custom i don't understand i just chose the lowest setting uh right well ow maybe it was no it wasn't the motion i i don't understand this game okay we're playing on the low settings let's just restart the checkpoint and here we go. Uh, I'm gonna start counting our FPS once again. Our room percent low should be a lot better now that we played through this level once already. And uh, yeah, you know what? It's way more smooth, so it's way more playable as well. Let me kill you, buddy. Thank you. Destroying trees. That's beautiful in crisis. This was very, very advanced tech for 2007, by the way. You can break the trees in various points. Like, look at this, look at that. that. That's amazing, guys. Now, let's explode it right away. You know what? 
yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, not a big FPS drop coming from the explosion. Yeah, the explosions are not really that demanding in this game, which is a good thing, I think. At least they are optimized, kind of. Well, the entire game is not really that well optimized, but take ammo, there we go. So, uh, yeah, if you want to play at 900p with the low settings and maximum textures, it will look good still. I, I really do think that this game looks great on low settings, as long as you keep those textures high, which you have to do because the game doesn't allow you to set it to low, as I told you. Uh, but yeah, I think this is it for a 30 plus FPS experience. 900p will do that perfectly fine. So I guess we can answer the question already. Can it run Crisis? Yes, it can. 900p is definitely very playable. I will have no problems playing like like this, especially if you are a 1030 owner, you sh you're probably uh, used to 30 FPS anyways in a lot of games. I am not, but uh, yeah, that's just me because my main GPU is a 5700 XT. Okay, there we go. You know what? Let me just pick up a few uh, bullets, please. Okay, there. Oh boy. Okay, I I'm gonna die. I think I might die here. I'm not sure, guys. Uh, I'm not sure why I do worse with higher FPS in this game as well. <laughs> it seems to be like this every single time I play it. Um, Alright, there we go. Okay, alright, we did it. Overall, at 900p, you can expect a very playable experience right here, guys. Okay, so uh, just gonna go ahead and stop it right there. And uh, let's do 720p now. 1280 by 720 with the low settings once again. And oh god, okay. <laughs> Yeah, that happened. Okay, let's just wait for a checkpoint. Good stuff. I, I wanted to restart the checkpoint anyways, and it's still not enough for a 60 FPS average experience, as you can probably... T Maybe it is. I don't know. Let's just wait a little bit, you know? Uh, right, there we go. Come over here, boy. All right, he's down, and let's kill this guy over there. Good stuff, good stuff. So, uh, at 720p, it might actually be possible to get 60 FPS on average. Guys, I was not expecting this with the 1030, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I was thinking more of like 50-ish FPS average, but no, it's at 61 right now. That's amazing. Even in the jungle area, it doesn't really seem to drop from 50 FPS. Uh, 49 there, okay, not bad. This is not a bad experience. I will totally play like this and I'd prefer to play like this at 720p uh, than 900 or, or 1080p because it, although it looks a little bit more pixelated, of course, it's way, way smoother and feel, it feels way, way better in a first person shooter. So, um, all right, there we go. We can actually probably reach 60 fps around here no we're not reaching 60 i am quite disappointed right now guys i really thought we'd reach 60 in this area uh because it's not really that demanding oh god oh god okay okay we're fine we're fine where's the last one there he is that's not the last one there's one behind me as well uh i'm low hp i i i died um okay well <laughs> That was absolutely amazing, wasn't it? We're just gonna go uh, to that area right away, okay? And I'm gonna explode the jeep and try to kill everybody once again. Uh, yeah, 60. Flat 60 FPS there on average. That's amazing. Hello, people. How are you doing? Can I kill every one of you, please? Just, just stop. Stop shooting me, please. Okay. Just gonna explode the jeep there. That's all I want to do. I don't want to kill anybody. And good stuff. 53 there. Not bad, guys. This is okay. And uh, there we go. 800 by 600 with the low settings, except for the textures. Let's restart the checkpoint. And I think this is it, guys. I think this is what you need to do if you want to play at 60 plus FPS with a GT 1030. It's not too bad. Well, the game looks like crap right now, except for the texture. They still look good in 800 by 600, but it's very, very pixelated, of course. Uh, 
unless you really really want that 60 fps experience 60 plus fps experience uh, i don't really recommend you to play like this obviously like it's it's okay it still manages to look good to be honest guys it still manages to look good maybe maybe if you have a 4x3 monitor i could recommend this because it would look a little bit better but with the stretched resolution and the pixelated jagged edges and everything yeah i don't think this is a good experience at least it's not a better experience than uh, 720p uh, i in my opinion of course you can still get a 60 fps average at 720p and that's enough for crisis i think if you played the first crisis you probably didn't play it at 60 fps either so yeah not bad at 720p in my opinion yeah if you want to experience crisis you don't want these graphics but Wow, you can't deny that this is really, really extremely smooth, 100 FPS at times. So, the last thing for us to do, my friends, is uh, just just for the meme, you know, play at the maximum settings at 1080p resolution and see how many FPS we can get for like a minute or so, because it's not going to be playable, of course. But let's try it out. You can do it 1030 I believe you can do it. It's completely locked. Okay. Okay. There we go. All right. It's locked again. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, guys. Although the game looks really, really good right now, it's not doable <laughs> whatsoever. Uh, yeah. This is, of course, the Can It Run Crisis preset. I forgot to show you that at 1080p resolution. Just gotta wait like a couple of minutes here for everything to actually work. All right, there we go. 1920 by 1080. Anti-aliasing is turned off, and very high. Not very high, actually. The can it run crisis settings? I'm just gonna disable motion blur right here. There we go, and now we can actually get back into the game. Yeah. All right. So. <laughs> Uh, this is great. I'm counting our FPS, 4 FPS average and 4 FPS 1% lows. That is amazing. Uh, no, it isn't. It, Jesus, man. It's not, uh, it, as you can probably tell, it's not playable, guys. Don't do this. Don't do this at home. It's There's no point. It's so bad. I, I can't even see the guy. What the hell? Anyways, uh, I think th that's enough, right, guys? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry about the inclusion of the Can It Run Crisis preset here with the 1030. Your heads are probably going crazy right now like mine is. So, I'm gonna stop it right there. Thank you very much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to play this game on a 1030, you can do it. Actually, it's, it's very doable. I'm gonna get out of here. As always, love you all. Bye bye